In Hogwarts Legacy, we have a lot of mods to choose from. You can ride dragons, have different weapons as ones, change the characters and many more. Let's explore the best ones at this moment, but keep in mind that constantly we have new ones out there. As a general rule, they are quite simple to install, you have in the description the link for all shown here. You download the archive, unzip it and copy the content inside the folder Hogwarts Legacy Phoenix Content Packs Mods. If you don't have the folder, you need to create it, but be careful and follow the instructions for each one. In some cases, you might need to use the mod merger. This is how you install them. Now, let's watch the best ones out there. You have a mod that allows you to change the Testral or a Hippogriff into a dragon. It looks badass and is quite cool to ride a dragon. There are also some other mods that allow you to change the color and type of dragon, so you can check those out also. The mod is quite good and the dragon handles well and its movements are accurate. Also, walking around on the dragon looks cool and realistic. Another cool one that everyone and especially Harry Potter fans will like is the Voldemort one. You can change your character into Voldemort. For this, you need to change the character to the first face shape and first skin color and go for a bald head when creating the character. It is quite fun to see him in every cutscene and use Avada Kedavra. You have a link in the description with a 36 minutes gameplay with Voldemort in case you want to check this out. You have the possibility to use lightsabers. Well, they are replacements for the ones you still shoot magic, but if you get really close to targets, it looks like you are hitting them with a the lightsaber. You have Kylo's red lightsaber, Luke's blue one and Obi-Wan's green lightsaber to choose from. Other ones might come in the future, so keep an eye out for them. To use them, it's quite easy, you only select the one handles from your inventory and that's it. You will also see them displayed in the menu when choosing the right handle. You have the possibility to replace the broom with the Ford Anglia 105E car, which is Arthur Weasley's car. It used to be a standard for Danglia until Mr. Weasley enchanted it, making it able to fly, become invisible to muggles and carry his entire family despite its modest size. The mod has moments when it flickers but the modder wrote it's working on it and uh, it's working on improving it. So keep an eye out for the newer versions, also it's fun to fly around in the car with the one that we have available right now. You can also choose the Sword of Gryffindor, it is again a one handle and we need to select none, this will make the sword appear. The sword of Gryffindor was made a thousand years ago by the goblins, the magic metal's most skilled metal workers and is therefore enchanted. The sword was later used in Albus Dumbledore's and Harry Potter's hunt for Horcruxes as a tool of destroying against the Horcruxes, as means to destroy Lord Voldemort's immortality. On Nexus mods I found another fun mod. You can replace your broom with Shrek in a T-pose. He doesn't move but it can be something fun for the kids and adults alike. To install it, we have the same process, we need to download it, unzip it and copy it in the games folder. If you have any questions, please ask them in the commentary and I will try to help you guys out. We have more mods in the following minutes and I want to ask you guys to please subscribe to the channel if what you've seen so far was interesting. This really helps me a lot and motivates me to do even more mods videos and interesting news about the game. You also get faster access to similar videos on my channel as well, so it's a win-win situation. One really useful mod is the one that makes every spell have no cooldown. You have the links in the description for this also. Basically, you can use Avada Kedavra and all of the spells without having to wait for the icon to fill up again. So you can one-shot kill every enemy and even one-shot kill multiple enemies at once if they are cursed. It is extremely handy and a big game saver. You will navigate through big fights much more faster and finish a game quicker. Basically, if you get Avada Kedavra, it will be way easier to kill difficult enemies even if you are at a lower level. Another interesting mod is the one that allows you to summon a companion. You can summon multiple companions also. The thing is that the first version only allowed the companions to come along for the ride, but during fighting they did not use any spells. Newer versions allows them to enter combat and this makes fighting much more dynamic and gives it a bigger scale. I had the issues adding the mod which gives the possibility to your companion to engage in fighting, but it could have been something wrong with the fact that I already added 7 or 8 mods and they needed to be merged together. It might have been a conflict there, but if you start fresh and only add the needed mods for this one, you will make it work 100%. Something that is really useful again is the Insta Brew mod. This will allow you to brew potions in the room of requirements in one second. So every potion is available immediately without having to wait 15, 30 seconds or 1 minute. 
Next to these, you also have mods that allow you to perform Aloha Mora instantly without having to waste time to find the right solution, and both are big time savers. Hope this video worked well for you, thank you very much for watching the entire video, don't hesitate to like the video and subscribe and I wish you all the best, goodbye.